it kind of reminds me back in the Storm 3 days. I don't remember everything about Storm 3, and you can correct me if I'm wrong because it's been a minute. But when they added the Instant Awakening, hey, I know a lot of people bitched about it. And it can be understandable, but at the same time, it was like, it was so good for weaker characters. Yeah, and Revolutions, every character could have Instant Awakening. So Right. And Rev, yeah. And then they brought it back in 3. Was it 3? Yes. But in 3, I think it well, was three, only three some intro- yeah, characters. Yeah, so 3 could. introduced it, but it was only some characters. Yeah. I don't think I Jiraiya was an better. Instant Awakening character. I know, I think Neji was. He wasn't? No, I don't think I he, was, he was. But he, but the <gasps> relay, oh! but he had the relay. Some characters did, some didn't. Some did, didn't. Yeah, but it, that's why in Rev, so everyone... That's why in Rev, every single person could be Instant Awakened, which was amazing. And okay, Jiraiya so in like, Rev was amazing with Instant Awakening because you had access was. to a Sage mode. You could do he the was, yep. Lava Jutsu. You could do a bunch of things. Yep. So you're right. So basically, Jiraiya was a revolution. So yeah, and Re- Jiraiya was so fucking fun in Revolutions. I wish he would have had that shit again back in Storm 3. Now I was getting it all jumbled up like jumbled oh, it's all good. You're right. It's all good. So it's like those little things that made playing those games back then so fun. And it's like when you look at connections, it's like they add some stuff, take some stuff away, and it's like some of the things that they take away, it kind of... it. it it kind of sucks that they do. Now, in terms of uh, like uh, the armor, yeah. that made sense. Mm-hmm. That did. But the get rid of the kunai restand, I found that the, that the kind of suck because I felt the kunai restand really did help um, give like lower tier characters more of a chance. For sure, I I you agree. Know, with that's that. just. Yeah, that's just a me thought there. Yeah, I know. I totally agree with you. And I think that that's kind of the core issue with Naruto Storm Connections is it's just not as fun as past Storm games, right? Like, whether it was yeah. when the game came out, the first patch, the second patch, I think, which we're in now, especially this patch. This this one is just oh, man. not... Like, this it's is the least fun. amount of fun that I've ever had. Yeah, And, and my winning has only yeah my winning has nothing to do with it because it's either stayed the same or it's increased from the sec like in the second and third patch i was winning quite a bit and but when the game first came out i wasn't winning very much but as i got used to the game that's fine and then i adjusted with the patches it's not about that i'm winning or losing i'm actually winning a lot but i'm just having less and less and less fun as this game's life span continues for whatever reason so and that's I, fine. yeah, but like I, it is. I mean, it's well, okay that I'm that's happening, but term, like, yeah. I mean, in terms of that's your reason is reasonable. You see yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I see what you're saying. That's my what bad. I yeah, mean yeah. by that. Yeah. yeah, no, but exactly. But the the fact that that's happening that that means that there's an issue. Like they're it is they're, a they're doing something really wrong because like they're trying to make. I think they're trying. Okay, they're trying to make a game that doesn't have a competitive platform competitive okay. so like you cannot have a competitive game with a game that doesn't have like stable online right if your online you is unstable that. and if the game is kicking you out of matches and then also pen- penalizing you and then on top of that one char- one player might have you know a better connection than the other player when they're playing it's um that's not competitive that's not competitive it's the opposite of competitive in fact you have to start with the net code. I know we keep talking about it, but we, you have to start there and then yep. you can go and you balance your game. Because right now you don't even know what is, what should or shouldn't be balanced all that much. And some of the stuff that should be balanced, like that should have been balanced eight months ago, is uh, they don't even touch it. Like, you know, the Ashura, Ashura's uh, Rasengan, the exploding Rasengan that keeps you stuck in place. Yeah. Like, they, they nerfed the Divine yeah. Lightning or Divine Thunder, the Lightning Jitsu of Hagoromo. That's great. Why don't do they give the same treatment to Azura and make it so that, it, okay, it does what it does, but the radius now is a little bit smaller. It's not as big. Right. And when you sub, you don't sub back into it. You sub out of it like you do the Lightning Bolt for Hagoromo. 
right? And if you go back yeah. into it, that's your own fault. Let it explode on the ground, but right. in a small area, right? Like Eno's flower bombs, right. like Kid Eno's flower bombs, or yeah. whatever, right? And it's like these little nuances, these little things, like that's balancing a game, and the balancing is just yeah. not there. And I think the issue is, is that there's just way too many characters in the raw 